What's up guys? How y'all doing today? So in my last video, I made a Kingsman electric shock ring. This device right here, got uh, two electrodes on the front, uh, fits on your finger like this, and has a capacitor in the back. Stores charge, and whenever you touch uh, these two tips to something, it'll send a very powerful shock uh, to whatever you touch. So yeah, pretty cool gadget. You guys seem to really like this. Uh, video's doing really well. And with the new Kingsman movie coming out soon, I figured this would be the perfect time to make another gadget from that movie. So for my longer time subscribers, some of you may remember uh, a build I did that's similar to the one I'm gonna be doing today. Pretty much I built a dart gun into a watch and for the propulsion I used like a glow plug and flash paper to shoot out like a little nail thing, I think it was, uh, something like that. Pretty cool build, but today I'm gonna try to improve upon it. We're also gonna tailor it a little bit more towards the one that's used in the movie The Kingman. So here's a clip from the movie that shows what we're basing this watch off of. Go. Done this in front of you. No, please, I won't say nothing, I swear. Pretty cool stuff, if I do say so myself. This movie's got so much cool stuff in it. The goal, the goal is to make everything in the movie. That's that's the dream. Have your own personal arsenal of spy gadgets. I mean, coming along, honestly. Like, not, we're not doing too bad. We're, we're, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Anyway, so from what I saw in the movie, it looks like he's able to switch types of darts that he shoots. The one he selects is the amnesia dart. I'm assuming it's just got some sort of drug in the dart. Whenever it hits the target, um, they just forget stuff. I don't know. But yeah, we're just gonna focus on shooting darts out of a wristwatch. I'm gonna do it slightly differently than my last one. And we're also gonna be using more of a gold colored watch like they used in the movie. Let's see if we are able to pack a dart gun into a tiny little wristwatch. Well, actually, cheating a little bit because this wristwatch is actually oversized and huge. Like, look at it fitting on my wrist. Like, shh, don't tell anyone. So I'm gonna try and show you all the steps as uh, to how I make this. If you do wanna try this yourself, just know I am not responsible if you hurt yourself in any way making this. But if you are curious, I will leave the link to the watch I use down in the description below, along with my Instagram, if you wanna go follow it, doing giveaways. Actually probably gonna give away one of these watches. Not with the stuff built inside. Yeah, definitely go check that out. Like my latest picture uh, if you wanna win one of these watches. Also, I'm gonna be using flash paper as well. So I'm gonna try and link some stuff about that down there as well. Uh, okay, that's enough talking. Let's jump into this build. Go.
Okay guys, so we just finished up the watch. Here it is. You're probably wondering, it doesn't look any different. That's the point. Um, well, actually it does. If you flip it on the side, you can see focus. There it is. Okay, as you can see, we've got a barrel sticking out right here. Put it on your wrist. I don't like this. This watch is super cheap, by the way. <laughs> kind of why I like it, because there's a lot of empty space in here that allows me to build stuff inside of it. Plus, it looks pretty damn cool on the outside. So the way this works, uh, instead of using a glow plug, we actually used an electric arc lighter. Uh, I'll link that down below as well. I've used them in a lot of my projects before. It's a super high voltage uh, arc of electricity. That's what we're using for the ignition source that is going to light the flash paper, uh, which is going to be the propellant for the dart. I meant to say flash cotton. Um, if you don't know what flash cotton is, this is pretty much all you have to know about it. Get any sort of flame, touch it to it, whoo, goes up really fast and a big ball of fire. But when you put this under pressure, it expands super rapidly. It should be more than enough power to propel a dart out of this wristwatch. Um, so this watch right here, I pretty much rigged up the button from the arc lighter uh, to this side switch right here. Uh, so if you can see down in there, it's kind of slanted, there it is. Focus. You can see the arc of electricity arcing across there and that's what's going to ignite our flash cotton right here. Uh, so I'll just load in a piece without any dart or anything. So stick it in there, bring it in the front, get like a screwdriver or something or anything really, just poke it down in there. And then we just press this side button right here and it should shoot out. There it is. Just like that. Um, so as you can see, not too impressive, but if we go ahead and add in something like this needle I've got right here, just the head of the syringe, uh, the flash cotton should shoot out just like the one in the movie. So if we grab a little bit of flash cotton, pack it down inside this barrel right here, and then what we're gonna do is grab a little bit of wadding, so this is just some paper towel, just because this uh, needle doesn't provide the best seal on its own. We're just gonna fold this paper towel around the needle a little bit so it creates a little bit of a better seal and we're gonna stick it down inside the barrel as well, just like that. So now this device is locked and loaded. So if we press this button, a dart's gonna shoot out. Yeah, let's go try this out. Alright guys, well that is the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this Kingsman spy gadget brought to real life. If you did like it, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Uh, also subscribe to this channel for more cool inventions just like this. Uh, also leave your ideas down in the description of uh, cool stuff you wanna see me make next, uh, like other gadgets from the movie or really could be anything. Whatever you think would be a cool thing for me to make, let me know down below. Parts you need to make this are down below as well. Also my Instagram link. So definitely go follow that. Anyway guys, that's been it for this video. Once again, I hope you did enjoy this. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.